far as we're going to see if we can uh, even challenge ourselves beyond that. So in figure 54, uh, maybe we'll do this. Figure 54, how many blocks, and more importantly, how do we figure it out? Carter? Do you want me to make the formula go ahead? Uh, just tell me how to find the number of blocks in figure 54. So you multiply 54, or you subtract 1 from 54. OK, now why is that? Mm -hmm. um, because you s took one step. Like, you started with figure 1. OK, you started figure 1. And it takes 52 steps to get to figure, or 53 steps to get Right. One step to get to figure two. Two steps to get to figure Pardon three. Three steps to get to figure four. Fifty-three steps to fifty-four. Those are high school announcements. So. Fifty-three steps to get to fifty-four. So always the number of steps is. It's one below the number itself. Yeah, one below the number, the figure number. Right. Okay. So fifty-three times. Two. Or times six, because that's the rate of change. Okay, six is the rate of change. Does anybody want to put that in different terms? Six, why six? Because it goes up. Yeah, yeah, it goes no? up six every step. Every, every step, every figure, it goes up by six blocks. Okay, we get two on this side, two on that side, one on top, one on bottom. That's six total. And then you add two, because oh, the first okay. figure is two. Jump it in there with the two blocks from the original figure, two. Uh, is there another way to go about it, to think about it, Tiana? Okay. You do um, 54. 54? Times 6. Minus 4. Minus 4. <coughs> Why is that? Because it's going up by 6, the rate of change, and you're going to figure 54. But imagine it like you go into figure 0, which would be negative 4 blocks. Figure 0, which... Okay, so if I follow this, this pattern, I take away these two sides, so I can take away these two here, and then take away, so I would take away the, these two, and then take away these two, so I'd like add negative, add negative two so far, if I if we were to think of a dotted box as a negative box, and then I get, I don't know, maybe throw two on here. Right? So we take those two away, right? We're gonna go back six, Take those two away, we have to take away four more. They're the negative squares, negative boxes. Mm -hmm. So negative four blocks. So if we move up from there, six more than negative four is two, six more than that, six more than that, and so on and so on. To get to figure 54, it would take, well, one step, steps. two steps, three steps, right? Just the same as the figure number. So instead of one less than the figure number, it's exactly the same as the figure number, because we're starting from zero rather than one. Okay. And a minus four, because that's how many blocks there are in figure zero. Um, so using both of these methods, we could, uh, or either one of these methods, we could come up with the formula, by the way, these both come up with 320, right? I just really copied it off of all of your work. I don't know how many blocks it was. Does everybody get 320? Yeah. 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 Okay, 320. Uh, so the formula here is going to be, Right? Y is the number, total number of blocks. X is the number of the figure. Mm -hmm. right, so what might our formula look like? Yeah. Um, X times six plus two. X times six plus two? No. no. Jacqueline? Um, six <coughs> times X plus one plus two. Times X plus one? Oh, that's minus one. Oh, yeah, minus one. Minus one. Okay. So explain the x minus 1. Will somebody explain that for us? Um, yeah. On every one of them, you have to go down by 1. Whenever we start at figure 1, or think of starting from figure 1, whatever this guy is, right, this figure number x, figure number 54, figure number 87, whatever it is, we always take 1 away from it because we're calculating the number of steps it's going to take to get there from figure 1. So 1 less than the, the figure number. <coughs> Six because it can change because it goes up by six every time, right? and plus two because our like the way we're thinking about it, we're starting at figure one, and so we got to add those two blocks on to whatever extra we're adding on. Add all that extra on to the original two blocks. 
Or I could write my formula thinking of starting at figure zero. Right? So how would that formula look? Would it look like six times x minus one minus four? No. What would it no. look like? Six times x minus four. Six times x, right? Because when we start from figure zero, the number of steps to get to figure x is x steps. The number of steps to get to figure 54 is 54 steps if we start at figure zero. So not x minus one, but just x, which we learned a couple of times. If we were to distribute this six and get six x minus six plus two and add the negative six into two, we get six x minus four and they match up. Just proving that they do the same thing. Whether I use this formula, plug it in, subtract one, multiply by six and add two, or just plug the number in there for x multiply by six and subtract four, it's the same number. Okay, good job. Now, let's see if we can apply it to a slightly different situation, okay? Read that explanation on the right. If you have any questions, just like, I mean, I haven't even asked a question yet, so if you have any questions about what this means, do you know what an amphitheater is? Yeah. No. Yeah? No. Which are we finding? Is it like a you right, that's what, that's what I'll tell you here in a second. I just want to make sure everybody's not clear on what this is. An amphitheater is just a theater, or some place where people oh, sit yeah. where there's a stage that's round. Like a it's coliseum? Kind of, kind of round. Yeah, like a coliseum is a, it's like a full circle amphitheater. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people are sitting in these rows, but they're curved rows, not straight rows like this. Like Karis Park? Yeah, Karis Park's. Are they curved? Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Ball stadiums. Ball stadiums. Ball stadiums. Around the around the ends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The theater <laughs> ends. You have a, uh, a lot of. Let me think. A lot of baseball fields like that. Yeah. Baseball fields. A lot of times when we want, I think it's when we want acoustics to be good. A lot of times yeah. we have a theater. What? So. Acoustics. Acoustics. With the sound. So the first row, <laughs> and rather than writing that there are or, or drawing 12 people in there or, or putting a picture of 12 people, just telling you 12 people can sit there. 15 people can sit here, 18 people can sit here. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so let me just ask you to find the number of people just as a warm up in row 28. Okay, row 28. We're going to find the number of people we can sit in row 28. We do um, 27 times Seven. 3, which is the number that it goes up every figure. Nice. Plus um, 12. Plus 12. Okay, so explain to me why 27? Because it, get, it takes 27 steps to get to it. Right, if I were like literally standing in row one and I wanted to step back to row 28, yeah. it would take 27 steps to get back there. Times three, because you already said, that's how much it goes up by every, uh, every row. Mm -hmm. Plus 12, because? That's how many is in row one. That's how many you started with. And we're going to start at 12, we're going to add on three, and add on three, and add on three, and add on three, and add on three. We just have to keep in mind, we're adding on all that stuff to the original 12. All right. Uh, anybody start with row? Zero? I started with row zero, even though there is no row zero, but we certainly could treat it that way. So it's basically 28 times 3 plus 9. Because if there was a row zero and it did follow this pattern, there would be nine, so nine people could sit on the floor. Yeah. Right there in front of row one. Yeah, mosh pit. Mosh pit is nine people deep. Uh, good. Nine people deep? Yeah, What's a mosh pit? Like, it's like a mosh. giant running circle spit. I'm a a mosh pit. pit. Spit? A giant circle spit. Is it running these days? Yeah, it's now running and pushing it along. It's like a running. bunch of people down in a spot where they don't sit and they beat each other up and push each other down. Like, yeah, they have to run in a giant circle spit. Okay, I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go back down. You need to be quiet a little faster than that. Thank you. So, what would the formula be? For row x, Zach? Two. Formula for row x? Y equals? Uh, um, you. 27. 
Mm. Well, not row, not row 28, oh. row X. It would be X. times, it would be every. Sorry. It would be what? X times 3 plus 12. I'm not going to do that. We can either have it be 3 times X, or we can have it plus 12. We just got to decide, like, where where's our mentality here? What, what, what makes sense to us to start at row 0 or to start at row 1? Got, uh, I do. An alteration for this here. Um, I'm mad. Um, that was not an alteration, but shouldn't that be negative one? So much like x minus one. So that's an alteration. Change x. Oh yeah. To x minus one. Yeah. Did that work? Yeah. Or that's exactly what this person did, right? Madeline did. 28 minus 1 gives you 27. The number of steps he gets to rip. Pardon? He's ripping off his skin. That's a really cool <laughs> one. You're peeling off your skin? Can we be done with the discussion about what Carter's doing with his skin? And just like Carter's sitting down. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard you say, Mr. Stewart. 28 minus 1 is 27. <laughs> so we take the row number and we subtract 1. 27 times 3, we multiply it by 3, and we add on the original 12 from row 1. Emma? You could also do... Also do... X times 3 plus 9. You could also do that. Absolutely. It would be 3 times X plus 9, if I'm thinking of starting from the mosh pit, starting from down here. Yeah. I would like to show myself the mosh pit again. Just don't go to the mosh pit. Yeah, stay on row one. I mean, sometimes it's not even dangerous if you go to a mosh pit. It's mainly just running. Yeah, for breathing in the mosh pit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I do for you all in these moments when you want to start talking about mosh pits excessively? How can I help you to realize you should it? Carter, what can I do? Just tell us to shut up. That's rude. Yeah, shut up, Carter. Carter, you can't shut up. Shut up. Dude, what is you wrong you with you? The minutes that we waste, you already tried that. I tried that before. Yeah, that doesn't But work. I'm not against right. it. Jackson? No, uh, if we start talking about mosh pits, you could be like, people who don't want to talk about mosh pits, raise your hand, and then tell everyone else that they raise their hand too, and then quiet down. Okay, so let's like a visual of how many people are waiting for the those people to start talking about mosh pits. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like these two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and the start with some numbers that are a little bigger. So I don't want to really try and draw this out in blocks or anything. Okay, so I'm going to represent it differently. I'm going to say, let's just start simple with like things that we know. We'll start with figures, the number of blocks. I just want to going to draw it out. So let's say in figure one, there's uh, 35 blocks. And in figure two, there's 31 blocks. And in figure three, there are 37 blocks, and on and on that goes. Oh man, what? You're just being okay. mean. What? That's you okay. subtract and then you add. That's what you do. Why I don't know. Oh, do that? No. oh, okay. Hi. Wait. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, I see what you did. I see what you're saying. 27 blocks minus baby. Uh, well, couldn't you do that though? Why would you go down, but then. That would be tricky. Up by something like I feel like. Certainly you could have. figure that out, but. Uh, uh, we need some kind of an good. oscillating function, like a sine function. Nobody's paying attention. I think we need, talk, we need a lot more time before we try that. Yeah, probably. All right.